hybrids, electric vehicles, plug-in hybrids. More and more of these vehicles are hitting the road, so today I'll walk you through how they work and go over some need-to-know terms. Let's start with a hybrid powertrain. Hybrids like this 2023 Kia Niro use a gas engine combined with an electric motor and battery. When there's enough charge and driving conditions are right, like moving at slow speeds, the vehicle will run on electric mode. The gas engine will kick in once the battery needs charging or faster acceleration is required. In other words, it'll automatically switch between the gasoline engine and the electric motor as needed. Hybrids are great for those who want to reduce fuel usage, but also want their vehicle to operate like a gas model. All right, let's move on to electric vehicles or EVs. They are the future of driving and that future is here. As the name suggests, EVs use one or more electric motors powered by a large, high voltage battery. For example, the Kia EV6 has available dual motor all wheel drive that uses one motor for each set of wheels. With EVs, range is a top concern. Today's EVs are typically rated to travel over 200 miles on a full charge. And this Kia EV6 Wind is EPA rated for up to 310 miles of range. That's far more than the average driver goes in one day. But you can do a lot on one charge. But like any vehicle, you'll need to refuel, or in this case, recharge. The most convenient way to charge is to install a level two charger at home. Essentially, it turns your garage into a private fueling station. There are also public charging stations across the country. Check out my videos on home and public charging for more details. No gasoline also means no tailpipe emissions. Another great aspect of EVs is that they accelerate fast, sports car fast. This dual motor Kia EV6 goes from zero to 60 in just 4.6 seconds. That's due to the instant torque that EVs provide. It's a unique, exciting driving feel that you just have to experience. Finally, there's plug-in hybrid vehicles, essentially a blend of a hybrid and EV. Like hybrids, they use a gas engine and an electric motor. What separates a plug-in hybrid is the battery is larger and can be charged like an EV, meaning plug-in hybrids are capable of electric-only operation in addition to their hybrid functionality. The Sportage Expo Prestige plug-in hybrid you're seeing here is rated for up to 34 miles of all-electric range. Plug-in hybrids are great for people who want flexibility. They give you the ability to drive fully electric with the reassurance of knowing you can use gas if needed. Now that we've gone through hybrids, EVs, and plug-in hybrids, let's quickly run through some common terms associated with them. With EVs and hybrids, when you hear the term battery, it's usually referring to the battery that powers the vehicle, not the standard 12 volt car battery. These are much larger and have far higher voltage and runs the length of the floor. Even in a hybrid like this Nero, the battery is substantial. With batteries comes charging. This one is simple. Charging is returning power to the battery, like plugging in this Kia EV6. In a hybrid, the charging is done by the gas engine. A charged battery is what gives you range. Range is the EPA estimated number of all electric miles a vehicle can travel. You may also see this referred to as all electric range or AER to avoid confusion. Plug-in hybrids also get rated for total range, which is the all electric range combined with their hybrid fuel economy. Another important term is MPGE. It stands for miles per gallon of gasoline equivalent and is the EPA's metric for easy comparison between electrified vehicles and their gas powered counterparts. The Sportage plug-in hybrid you're seeing here gets up to 84 MPGE combined. High MPGE numbers don't necessarily equate to the best electric range. The all electric range is a combination of efficiency and battery capacity. So MPGE is purely a rating that shows how well a vehicle is utilizing its electric power. Most hybrids, EVs, and plug-ins come with a technology called regenerative braking. This uses the magnetic resistance of the electric motor to help recharge the battery as you decelerate and brake. I hope you have a better understanding of the different types of electrified vehicles. For more on EVs and hybrids, check out the rest of my EV education series. Kia, movement that inspires.